Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ang topic natin ngayon is Essential Guide to CTT Examination. Ano yung mga guide or ano yung mga steps para makatake or magtake ng CTT Examination. No? So, I am Coach Jubes Duterte, CPA and at the same time a certified tax technician. Okay? So, what is a certified tax technician? Ba't gusto mong maging certified tax technician? Alam mo ba yung mga roles kung ano ang uh, responsibilities ng isang certified tax technician? Okay, ang certified tax technician helps businesses or an accounting department fill out BIR taxes. Okay? In this career, you provide advice and training to examine and fill out tax forms, no? And explain ano yung kahalagahan nito. Okay, your duties are also help private clients to file paperwork and tax actions. Okay, ikaw si tax technician, uh, tutulungan mo yung mga businesses, yung mga other agencies concerned, no? para sa kanilang filing and uh, other concerns related to taxes no so kaya nga sinabing tax technician kasi tayo yung kumukumpune sa mga BIR returns or BIR preparations no yung mga tax preparation natin okay this is uh, to help clients to minimize uh, BIR tax dues no kung may mga legal ways tayo kung papaano ma-minimize yung uh, taxes we will uh, imp implement and we will advise our clients to do so no Philippine Association of Certified Tax Technicians ito yung association na nagkakandak ng CTT or Certified Tax Technician Examination dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, it is an association in the Philippines that offers a local and affordable qualifications and assist business establishment. Sabi ko kanina, assist business establishment and the government in strengthening the tax awareness and knowledge. No? Uh, ginagawa ito ni PACTT or Philippine Association of Certified Tax Technicians upang ma-expand yung knowledge or mapalawak pa yung uh, knowledge natin when it comes to tax preparation and tax filing. No? It is an affordable qualification kasi mura lang compared sa ibang qualifications and assist business establishments. So, yun nga yung purpose natin pag bumasa tayo at maging certified tax technician tayo, we have that duty or responsibility na tulungan yung mga business establishments and uh, even the government no to strengthen the tax awareness. Para uh, ma-share natin yung mga knowledge natin when it comes to taxation. Diba? So, ito yung official Facebook page ni PACTT yung name niya sa Facebook is Certified Tax Technician no uh, i-search nyo lang sa Facebook i-search nyo lang sa Facebook and then may lalabas na yon na page ng Certified Tax Technician no dito malalaman mo yung mga updates regarding the examination yung mga review and even the result no dito pinapalabas yung result aside from their official website. Okay? Ito yung official Facebook page lang nila. Pero yung official website meron din. Ito yung philtaxtech.com. Ito yung official website nila. No? Okay. Who are eligible to take the CTT examination? Sino yung mga pwedeng mag-take ng CTT examination? Uh, limited lang ba to sa mga CPAs? Limited lang ba to sa mga business courses? Or... Uh, pwede na kaya ako or ikaw pwede ka na bang magtake ng CTT examination no so let's see or let's take a look first 
criteria para maging eligible ka to take the examination is you must be a graduate of a business course. Okay? Yung listahan ng mga business courses natin, but uh, it's not complete, no? But perhaps, uh, pwedeng makatulong, no? Kung uh, pagbabatayan mo kung business course ba siya o hindi. Okay? Basta business course, example ng mga business course is uh, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Commerce, di ba? Yun yung mga business courses natin. Okay. Paano naman, uh, Coach, if hindi ako isang business graduate? Pwede naman, if non-business course or non-business graduate ka, pero dapat graduate ka ng Bachelor of Laws. Okay? Kasi tinitignan nga natin dito yung uh, subject na taxation. If hindi ka naman business courses, no? Uh, wala kang taxation subject, uh, paano ka papasa in the first place nga hindi ka na nga nag-take ng uh, taxation na subject, di ba? If non-business course naman, pag law graduate ka, meron kasi sa law uh, part ng subject nila or part ng syllabus nila is meron silang taxation, di ba? Yung law on taxation yung tinatakal nila dito. Pwede, basta graduate ka ng Bachelor of Laws. Okay? Or, hindi kaya, kahit hindi ka pa-graduate, you must have successfully passed. Meaning, pumasa ka na. No? Hindi ka palang nag enroll di ba? Pumasa ka na. At least, 3 units of subject in taxation. Okay? 3 units lang naman yung kailangan para makatake ka na ng CTT examination. Paano yun? Ano yung, uh, ano yung requirements pag... Uh, hindi ka pa graduate, no? Uh, sabi ni Sir Ampongan during his orientation, uh, load slip or any other proof na uh, tapos ka na or nakapasa ka na ng 3 units of subject in taxation. Okay? So, CPA, kahit CPA ka or hindi ka pa CPA, you are encouraged to take the exam. Okay? Uh, kasi CTT examination is an, a form of uh, career advancement yan, no? Especially if you are inclined to taxation na uh, field, di ba? You will have an advancement in your career, no? So, CPA ka man or hindi ka pa CPA, future CPA or CPA in transit, you are allowed to take the examination, no? So, kahit estudyante, di ba? Estudyante, basta at least 3 units of subject in taxation, pasado ka na, pwede. Graduate, di ba? Kahit hindi ka pa CPA, di ba? Basta business courses yan, you can take the CTT examination. Or hindi kaya professional ka na. Ha, CPA ka man o hindi, basta professional ka na, provided you are a graduate of a business course, you are allowed and encouraged to take the CTT examination. Halimbawa, uh, you, pasok ka na sa criteria para makatake ng CTT examination. Now, papaano mag-register ng CTT examination? First, you need to be updated about the CTT examination schedule of review and examination. Okay? Yung schedule ng review tsaka yung examination dapat updated ka. Paano ka magiging updated? You must uh, follow or you must like na lang the page, the official Facebook page ng CTT, di ba? Para maging updated ka. Okay? Ito yung official Facebook page nila. I-flash ko sa screen ulit. Certified Tax Technician, isearch nyo lang sa Facebook and you can message them, di ba? You can message them. Pwede mong i-message yung uh, official Facebook page nila, di ba? Uh, for example, nag-post na sila ng uh, kanilang schedule of review and examination. Now, you need to fill out the CTT form. 
which is downloadable lang sa kanilang official website, no? www.filtaxtech.com Okay? Sige. Now, uh, halimbawa, nag-fill up or nag-fill out ka na ng CTT form which is downloadable from their official website page, no? From their official website. Next is, magbabayad ka na. You will pay the registration fee via online banking or through their accredited providers, no? Review centers accredited by PC, PACTT Incorporated if uh, example walang COVID before COVID sa review centers nagbabayad mostly no pero meron din naman silang mga online payments no but uh, commonly sa review centers sila nagbabayad para diretso na sila fill out ng form tapos diretso na sila enroll ka agad no pero ngayong COVID-19 pandemic nga Uh, hindi tayo medyo nakakalabas or nililimitahan yung paglabas natin uh, pwede tayong magbayad via online banking no? okay so yung COVID-19 rates or yung rates as of uh, nag start yung COVID-19 from March to up until now ba diba? yung rate nila is 2.5 no? 2.5 for CPA na yon and non-CPA Okay, so mura lang, ba? Diba? For an advance, advancement in your career, ba? Diba? You have an edge and you will be considered or you will be named as certified tax technician. You will pay only 2,500. Provided nga, papasa ka. ba? Diba? Papasa ka naman. Yung pre-COVID rates nila, meaning yung uh, rates nila before COVID-19, Uh, yung registration fee is 2.5 sa mga students or non-CPAs for CPAs naman uh, 3,500 kasama na yung 16 CPD units okay sige uh, yung inclusions ng 2.5 or yung uh, pre-COVID rates na 3.5 for CPAs uh, included na dito yung review lectures yung review materials, yung uh, t-shirt na ibibigay, di ba? Uh, ni Philippine uh, Association of Certified Tax Technician Incorporated, uh, upon your enrollment, bibigyan ka na ng t-shirt na magagamit mo rin during your CTT examination, di ba? Yung official uh, shirt kasi nila yung susuotin upon the examination day. Okay, sige. And then, kasama na yung review materials, review lectures, yung parang booklet nila, and then yung examination, kasama na din yan. Wala ka nang babayaran. Okay? Uh, katapos mong magbayad, isesend mo yung scanned copy no, ng mga deposit slip or bank transfer slip or any document uh, na magpapatunay na nagbayad ka na and together with your accomplished form no yung form na na-download doon sa kanilang official website or kanilang uh, Facebook page na pre-provide ni PACTT i-send mo na ngayon yung accomplished no na form together with this can copy of proof of payment to their email yung email makikita mo yan sa kanilang official Facebook page okay sa kanilang official Facebook page mo makikita kung saan mo isi-send. Okay, then kindly wait for the acknowledgement of the receipt and for further instructions, no? Kung paano ka magsisimula ng review if online 'yan kasi COVID-19 pandemic tayo ngayon online, ah uh, doon mo makikita yung instruction. Uh, what if uh, hindi na COVID or wala ng COVID? Okay? Uh, mas maganda na magpay ka sa mga accredited review centers nila kasi baka doon lang hiniheld yung kanilang review sessions. For example, dati yung CTT examination nung wala pang COVID, merong uh, examination place and review, no? May review schedule and then yung examination 
sa mga certain locations lang sila meron. Okay, for example, Manila, Davao, Cebu, Tugigaraw, and uh, meron din yata yung sa Tacloban. Okay, pero yung mga other locations, di ko alam. Uh, subject yan sa decision ni PACTT kung sa saan sila mag uh, kakandak ng examination, no? Pero kung mag exam ka na COVID pa rin and then they will offer online examination or hindi kaya tapos na yung COVID tapos meron pa din silang online examination, pwede naman, no? Kindly acknowledge lang yung uh, kanilang uh, instruction, no? Hindi ka lang sa instruction nila. Pero kung sa accredited review centers ka naman, ah, uh, sasabihan ka kaagad nila kung ano yung gagawin mo uh, upon payment of your uh, CTT examination fee no which is including na yung mga review materials uh, t-shirt and examination de ba before COVID-19 pandemic yung examination nila is paper and pencil examination or paper and pen kung tinatawag natin meaning actual sa review accredited review center sila nag-held ng kanilang examination de ba ito yung before the COVID-19 pandemic okay nung nagkaroon ng COVID-19 or during the COVID-19 pandemic ano yung kind of examination nila online na po online de ba wala silang uh, paper and pencil or actual na examination instead they opted to have it online no mag online examination sila ah uh, merong certain na uh, software lang na ginagamit ni PACTT and doon ka na mag-exam okay sige coverage for the CTT examination Income taxation, estate and donors taxation, value added taxation, and other percentage taxes. Ito na yung mga business taxes natin. Real property taxation, kasama din recent tax statutes, no? jurisprudence and pertinent issuances such as BIR revenue regulations or RR, no? BIR revenue memorandum circulars or RMCs. Revenue Memorandum Orders or RMOs kasama yan sa examination dapat uh, updated ka sa mga showbiz happenings when it comes to taxation diba? for example, yung mga uh, Bayanihan to Heal as One Act during the COVID-19 example, yung Train 1 package yung Train 2, Train Law version 2 diba? CTT Review and Exam Okay, saan hineheld yung CTT review and exam? Ngayong COVID-19 pandemic, yung review sessions, hindi kasi pwede tayong lumabas, di ba? Hindi tayo pwedeng makipagsalamuha, makipagsalamuha sa crowd, no? So, review sessions are done online, no? Same with the CTT examination, which is online then. Review, online, CTT examination, online. Pero nung before COVID-19 pandemic, yung review sessions nila are actual po. Hindi tayo nag online hindi sila nag online no? They are done through different accredited CTT review centers. Same with the CTT examination. Okay? So, actual tayo dito, hindi pa sila nag-offer uh, dito ng online examination, no? COVID-19, before pa kasi ito ng COVID-19, so wala pang mga lockdown, wala pang social distancing and all. So, actual sila. Walang limit, di ba? Achievement or recognition natin, di ba? Ano yung makukuha natin pag pumasa tayo sa CTT examination? Of course, kung pumasa ka, you will be considered to be certified, no? and become a member of Philippine Association of Certified Tax Technician or PACTT. Diba? Ang ganda, magiging member ka na ng PACTT and you will be considered as Certified Tax Technician. No? Additional qualification on your resume, additional knowledge on yourself as your career is uh, boarding. No? Especially yung mga uh, nag-start pa lang ng karir nila. 
maganda tong achievement na to. Diba? Members can use the designation letters CTT. Okay, for example, si Juan de la Cruz, siya ay CPA, nag-take siya ng CTT examination, pumasa siya, di ba? Ang designation na ngayon or ang pangalan niya na after the exam or after pumasa siya and nag-register na siya, di ba? Juan de la Cruz, kama, CPA, kama, CTT or Certified Tax Technician. Di ba? Ang ganda. Pero, ah, example si Covida, hindi siya Certified Public Accountant, he is considered or she is considered na Certified Tax Technician. So, si Covida, a virus, kama, CTT. Di ba? Ang gandang, uh, ang sarap pakinggan na may CTT. No? So, this is an achievement or your recognition na pumasa ka. Okay, another thing is this is an opportunity for job advancement. Okay, advancement yan sa karir mo. Kasi nga, additional certification na isa kang certified tax technician. Okay, this is a great uh, opportunity uh, no? for the advancement of your career. Worth it ba, coach, na maging certified tax technician? Para sa akin, worth it siya, no? Bakit for, the, in the first place, mura siya, no? 2,500 for just uh, 2,500 at binigay yung, mo yung best mo na pumasa, no? Sa examination ng pagiging certified tax technician, para sa akin, worth it. Especially yung part ko, I am uh, interested when it comes to uh, the BIR tax filing, no? Uh, gusto kong magkaroon ng mga clients uh, na ako yung magpra-process ng mga tax returns nila, ako yung magre-register sa kanila sa BIR, and if may mga tax dip disputes, no, or clarification, pwede nila akong lapitan, ba? Diba? Ganun ko na imagine yung self ko uh, na mag advance yung karir ko dito sa certification na to, sa pagiging certified tax technician. Okay, para sa akin worth it siya, no? As an advancement to your career. Any advancement naman to your career, no? As uh, accounting career or any business career, no? It is worth it basta para sa sarili mo, no? Para sa uh, ikabubuti ng uh, yung sarili, no? Last thing is uh, subscribe kayo kay Sir Ampongan sa kanyang official YouTube channel, no? Omar Ampongan Online, no? Uh, legit, maganda yung mga discussions niya dito sa taxation and yung uh, kanila, kanyang way ng pag-deliver ng mga discussions and siya po yung reviewer natin sa CTT examination. Okay?